Daniel Davis, the maker of the Sociology Style Tool. I know you're going to find this tool really helpful as you prepare for maybe a class in sociological theory uh, or any other course where you need to have a, a really just a grasp on what different social thinkers have thought and what it all means. And I know that when you look at maybe the textbook or the syllabus of a, of a theory course, it can be really intimidating, right? There's all these people, many of whom have been dead for a long time, uh, a lot of names you've probably never heard of, a bunch of big terms, and it can seem a little overwhelming, right? And, and, and let alone, like, what does this have to do with real life? But what this tool does is it helps you understand the way that your views on society, the ones you already have, link up with people who have been leaders and, and writers in the field trying to explore and explain social patterns. And so it, it works for a few basic reasons. One, there are disagreements in the field about uh, what society really is at its fundamental unit. And so if I ask somebody, what is basic building block of society? There's three different traditions that will answer this three different ways. One tradition says, well, primarily, society is built of struggle. We as humans have a tendency to divide ourselves. Maybe it's based on race or class or gender or religion or nationality or language or whatever. We tend to find these ways to sort of arbitrarily divide ourselves up into us versus them groups. And then we conflict and we compete, maybe for resources, for dominance, for status, whatever. Another group says, no, ultimately, so society, it's, it's like a computer where there's all these integrated parts, uh, or even better, uh, a biological organism, like a human body, right? There's a skeletal system and a muscular system and a, a respiratory system, and all of these systems come together to create this sort of bigger than some of its parts entity. And they would say the same thing is true of society, that you have maybe have uh, political systems and economic systems, familial systems and religious systems, so on and so forth, but they come together, and once integrated, they build society. Then there's another group who says the basic building block of society is not struggles or systems. It's symbols. And to this tradition, they say, look, society is whatever we as people make it. When we agree on symbols having meaning, whether that's uh, language uh, or norms or values, right, that we agree that the, this is what the, these things mean, and then we, through that shared agreement and shared habits, we project society into existence. That it's a human creation through our shared meaning, language, values, norms, habits, and so on. So the three traditions disagree. One says that the basic building block of society is struggle, another says it's systems, and another says it's symbols. Further, there's not just three traditions that disagree on what the basic building block of society is. Each of these traditions, you can kind of think of them in a triangle shape, they have a, a tension between them, some philosophical disagreement about society that they have yet to come to terms with. And so, these three traditions uh, also then give way to three tensions, three philosophical questions about society. So tension one is a question about social order. Left to themselves, over time, will most societies tend towards chaos and competition and infighting or towards solidarity and cooperation? Second question or tension is that of social knowledge. How do we best learn about society? or societies. One tradition says, hey, people are part of the, the natural world, just like uh, plants and rocks and animals, so we can use a scientific method to hunt for universal social laws. The other side says, no, 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 people are totally different. We're not really part of nature in a classic sense. Society is, is separate. Our social life is fundamentally different. And so there are no, probably no universal laws of human behavior, but what there probably are, uh, or definitely are, are localized contextual meanings. And so the, the key task to learn about society is to uh, interpret and understand cultural habits, norms, behaviors of different groups of people. And then there's a third one, the question of social change. How best does society change? Is it big ideas that drive social change? Can economic systems be built and fall because of the ideas that people have? or is it material resources that really make the difference? The way that people earn their living. 
And then if that changes, if the economic systems change, then the culture will change in response. So which one sort of leads the way? Material resources or ideas and culture? So these three tensions, the tension around social order, social knowledge, and social change, are yet to be resolved. And maybe they're unresolvable. But as a result, most sociological theory has taken a position in one of these traditions and is writing, in many cases, about one of these tensions. So, when you take the sociology style tool, you'll be given a series of questions to answer. And these questions will help identify, based on your current views about society, where you fall in these traditions and the positions you take on the three tensions. And once you've taken it, and once you've learned that, you'll have a much easier time understanding the writers that you're assigned, or just on your own, curious to be reading about. Uh, if you need to write about theory for a paper, understanding this will make you much more confident in knowing the kind of theory that you want to write about, the kind of people you want to cite and look for to put in your paper. But more than that, taking this assessment tool won't just help you with your homework, right? Let's be real, theory, I know it seems abstract, but it's not supposed to be completely divorced from everyday reality. Quite frankly, if you understand more about your views of human social behavior and why you think it operates the way it does, that's not just gonna help you with your homework or with writing a paper. That's also gonna give you confidence in certain life choices or in the way that you navigate society yourself. So I invite you to take this tool. 